Jumping spiders are a diverse group of spiders that are known for their ability to jump long distances. These spiders are found all over the world and they are known for their unique behaviour and physical characteristics. In this video we will take a closer look at the biology, behaviour and ecology of jumping spiders. Jumping spiders belong to the family Sultasidae which is the largest family of spiders with over 6,000 species. They are called jumping spiders because of their ability to jump long distances, which they use to catch prey or to escape predators. Jumping spiders are small to medium sized spiders, with most species measuring between 2 and 20 millimeters in length. They have a distinctive appearance with their large eyes, small body size, and bright colours. Jumping spiders have four pairs of eyes, with the largest pair being located in the front of their head. These large eyes are used for hunting and are capable of detecting movement from a distance. They also have two smaller eyes located on the top of their head, which are used to detect changes in light intensity. Jumping spiders are also known for their ability to see in colour, which is unusual for spiders. The behaviour of jumping spiders is unique among spiders too. They are known for their active hunting behaviour, which involves stalking and jumping on their prey. They are also known for their courtship behaviour which involves a complex series of dances and displays. Jumping spiders are also solitary creatures, with most species living alone. Jumping spiders are found in a wide range of habitats including forests, deserts and grasslands. They are known for their ability to adapt to different environments and are found on every continent except Antarctica. They can be found in a variety of microhabitats, including under rocks, in leaf litter and on vegetation. Jumping spiders are also known for their diet, which primarily consists of small insects and other spiders. They use their venom to paralyse their prey and then wrap them in silk before consuming them. Jumping spiders are also known to be cannibalistic and will eat other jumping spiders if they come across them. In terms of reproduction, jumping spiders have a complex mating process. Males will perform a courtship dance to attract a female and will also use visual displays to communicate with females. Once a female is attracted, the male would deposit a sperm packet on a web, which the female will then use to fertilise her eggs. Jumping spiders, like many spider species, lay eggs in silk sacks. The sacks are usually hidden in protected areas such as crevices or under leaves. The female will often stay with a sack to protect it until the eggs hatch. Female jumping spiders are known to lay between one and eight sacks, shortly passing away after the final sack have all hatched. The number of eggs in a jumping spider's egg sac can vary depending on the species, but on average a sac can contain between 20 and 100 eggs. After hatching, the spiderlings will typically remain in the sack for a short period of time before dispersing to begin their independent lives. However, the number of eggs that survive to adulthood can be much lower due to predation and other factors. Jumping spiders have specialised cells in their muscles called stridulatory organs that allow them to control the force and duration of their jumps. These cells are found in the spider's legs 
and are responsible for the rapid contraction and relaxation of the spider's leg muscles, which allows them to jump such great distances. The stridulatory organs are made up of a series of small stacked plates that slide against each other during muscle contraction. This sliding motion generates a high frequency vibration that allows the spider to generate a large amount of force in a very short amount of time. The jumping spider's nervous system also plays a crucial role in controlling the force and duration of its jumps. The spider's brain sends signals to its leg muscles telling them when to contract and relax. This allows the spider to precisely control the amount of force it generates and thus the distance it will jump. The stridulatory organs and the nervous system work together to allow the spider to make precise adjustments to its jump based on the distance and direction it needs to travel. This allows jumping spiders to jump to their prey, to escape from predators and to navigate their environment with great precision. It's worth noting that this is a unique adaptation among arthropods and it's not found in other groups of arthropods and it's one of the reasons that make jumping spiders such fascinating creatures to study. Jumping spiders are also well known for their intelligence among arachnids. They have large brains relative to their body size and are capable of complex behaviours such as hunting, problem solving and learning. They have acute vision and are able to track and stalk prey with precision. They are also capable of recognising and remembering individual faces of other spiders and even humans. Studies have shown that jumping spiders are able to plan their hunting strategies and make decisions based on previous experiences. In conclusion, jumping spiders are absolutely fascinating creatures. Not just because of their amazing jumping abilities, but because of their amazing intelligence. They are definitely a species that should be loved the world over and appreciated for being the unique animals that they truly are. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it.